live in the north of Italy. My family, starting from my grandfather, owns a winery. I started four years ago in the winery because before I studied chemical engineering. I'm from Panama, goat farmer, making cheese, yogurts, yeah. Ice cream, soap. A young farmer from New Zealand. Family run a sheep and beef farm, but I work predominantly within agri policy, uh, agri technology, and data and analytics. I'm from Finland, and I'm actually the chair of Finnish Young Farmers. I'm a president of Nigeria Young Farmers Network. I'm a Brazilian farmer. Uh, we have crops and also a raised beef cattle. First generation farmer, president of the National Young Farmers Coalition, Denver, Colorado. Sometimes my dad tells me that in 40, almost 50 now years in the vineyards, uh, he saw three or four major events where we lost a great quantity of the production. While in four years, I've already witnessed two at least. Many examples of climate change in my First in my country and then in my farm. So with an Federated Farmers of New Zealand, I worked specifically within the Adverse Events Response and Recovery Team for many years. And over that time, we saw um, not just a continued growth in the frequency of adverse events that affected farmers, but also in the severity. We have extreme summers and now we have also extreme winters. We will have new diseases, not only on our fields, but also in forests. We used to plan by May, but I'm telling you, there is not any opportunity even to plan at June. Why? Because we can't have a rain focus. Why? Because it's affected by the climate change. So right now, Brazil has just faced this massive flood. Normally, we have six months without rain, but actually, last season, the rain was late for more than two, two months. One of our biggest challenges is drought. That's one of the reasons why I focus on greenhouse operations and use hydroponics to recirculate our water. I think that uh, Climate Smart Agriculture has many opportunities for uh, uh, the farmers because uh, it uh, can of course help uh, increasing the production while being uh, climate smart. The smallness of uh, kind of implementation techniques made a huge difference to the severity felt by each property. Uh, and so a little goes a long way. The things we're doing as well are uh, inputs, so we're using bacteria to the pasture to make them more resistant to drought. We're dealing with drought. Um, one of the things we're looking at is how to improve soil health and soil consistency uh, to cover crop barren, bare soil so that we can retain some of that moisture and create microclimates that are more appropriate for um, for food production and our crops. One of the challenges is first and foremost finding access to land and to capital. A barrier of maybe could be the money. As more we, we have science and, and we are science-based, we can make sure that this is more uh, available for all. We always have to remember that researches are not done in one year. They should be tested out more, at least on a five-year scale. And as a forest owner, I always have to say that uh, one quarter in forest is 25 years. So at some point, we need 25 years of research to make something work. What if you wanted to serve the future? Uh, climate smart agriculture, renewable energy and aeration. You have to sit down with them, speak like them, and teach them how to even come in into the, this uh, CSA uh, Climate Smart Agriculture. I hope to see more technology, more women, more science, because I'm an engineer, so I really love when we have new technologies. And uh, every time I really hope that my, my sons or daughters will be able to farm as I did, as uh, my dad and my grandfather did.